Hi there, my name's Vince and I'm one of the two reviewers and in this video today we're going to be reviewing and demoing the Krups Coffee and Spice Grinder, the F203 model. So here it is, it's a very compact unit and the idea of it is to simply grind your coffee beans, your nuts, your herbs and spices and your seeds down to a fine powder. So if you have a look, when you take off the lid, we have a blade in here and this is the blade that spins. It also has a safety feature in that it will only work when this in here is pressed. So when you put the lid on it, this is your on and off button here. You can only use it for 20 seconds and then you need to let it rest for a minute before you use it again for 20 seconds. But it is amazing how quick it does grind. 20 seconds will turn any of these things into a fine powder. Now the maximum this can take is 75 grams off the product that you're grinding. So let's do a stress test on it. Let's put in 75 grams of coffee beans. Normally you wouldn't be using this much. Whenever you're filling this or emptying it out, always make sure you're unplugged from the mains electricity. Right, here goes, I'm gonna press the button now and it will grind up the coffee beans. Now there we go, how much was that? 10 seconds or so, and already it has ground them up. Look at that. So I'm gonna get a little bit of A4 paper out just to show you the consistency of it, and then we'll put it on for a full 20 seconds to show you it turn into a fine powder. Because I'm taking the lid off, I'm unplugged. So check this out, it's gonna make a bit of a mess because I've filled it up so much just purely for the video. But let me just take a little bit of this out and put it on here. And if you look at the consistency there, you can see it's still quite coarse. So I'm gonna show you what ground coffee is like and let's see if we can get it the same consistency by putting it on for the full 20 seconds. So if you have a look at this here, you can see that that is a lot finer than that. So let's put it on for the full 20 seconds. It's rested now for a minute, so it's safe to use again. It's just to stop overheating. Right, here goes. Normally when I do this, I just take the lid off, but it's because it's so full purely for the video, that's why it's so messy. But I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna take it off this way and hopefully more of it will be contained in the actual lid. And you can see now that is much finer. Look at that and you can see how fine that is. So it definitely does what it's supposed to do. So I'm unplugged, I'm just gonna use a spoon and take out the grinds into here and then we're gonna make a, a cup of coffee with it. So this is my bean to cup machine. Normally this will do all the grinding for you, but let's say now if the back was already full of a certain bean and you want it to sample another bean, that's where you could grind it and you could put it in through here. So I've got my scoop here and I'm just gonna place it in and let's make a nice cup of coffee. And there we have it, one lovely creamy coffee. So when it comes to cleaning, you can just use some warm soapy water to clean the lid. So give that a good clean everywhere. That's only plastic, so that's fine to wash. But when it comes to the grinder, do not put water in here. If you put water in here, what will happen is it will rust on the inside and then this will no longer spin and you will break your grinder. To clean the inside here, what you need to do is just get a bit of kitchen towel or a cloth, ever so slightly damp, very, very, dry so don't have it sopping wet and then you can just wipe out the inside of it here make sure it's nice and clean obviously be careful you don't cut yourself on the blades next up i'm just going to put a few nuts in there i'm only going to blitz it for a few seconds for example if you wanted to garnish your salad and there we go you can see just a couple of seconds and we've got that there. So that'd be nice to put onto a salad. So there we have it. That is the Krups Coffee and Spice Grinder. Overall, a very capable machine. Really the only downside I would say is that if you put 75 grams in, it becomes a little bit unmanageable, a little bit messy. But under normal use, you'd be putting a lot less than that in. And then it's nice and easy to use. And it's amazing how quick it grinds. So if you'd like to buy one of these, there will be an Amazon link in the description down below. And if you already have one and you'd like to review it, then you can head over to doyoulovit.com and give it a yes no or maybe score we hope you enjoyed this review if you did give it a big thumbs up and we will see you all very soon thank you so much for watching